This is a training video on our range of heat shrink live pot end kits for medium voltage cables. We show here single core but we also have kits for three core cables. Study the instruction sheet and from table one, figure one, mark out the outer cable jacket and with a suitable tool Score the jacket and remove. Then remove any fillers and the copper equalising tape. Now bend back the copper screen wires temporarily securing to the outer jacket. Remove the water swallowable tape. And mark out the conductive screen end point. Now we're going to show you the use of a semiconductive bonded removal tool. This is the best way to remove the semiconductive layer rather than use glass. Once you've set the tool up, it's a very quick method of safely removing the screen. puts a very nice tapered finish at the screen end. Now using 240 grade aluminium oxide paper, polish the core. This is not essential at the lower voltages, but recommended at anything above 12 kV. Use the tissue provided to wipe off any excess grease or filings. And now using an insulation stripping tool, Set to the correct depth. Now score the semiconductive layer around the conductor and remove. Now we're applying semiconductive tape over the conductor and we only do this if the conductor is too small for the hole size in the insulating rod that we're about to show you. 
If it's a good fit, then you don't need to apply the tape. This is an insulating rod with an applied screen on the outer surface. Now again, mark the cable according to the instruction sheet. And we're going to apply yellow stress relief mastic tape around the cable screen point. 10 millimeters onto the primary insulation and about 20 millimeters onto the semiconductor plate. Now take the bigger roll of yellow stress relief mastic, stretch, filling in the gap between the nylon insulating rod and insulation of the cable. tapering up to the rod over the applied screen and then back again so that we have a nice smooth taper from core to the insulating rod. It would be advisable to have some help from a colleague so that the rod remains in position. Now position the stress control tube so that it sits equally over each screen. And with a suitable heat source, shrink from the center to one end at a time. Now use a tissue provided to clean the surface of the stress control tube. This has shown to improve electrical. Now we're going to apply some red masking tape to the ends of the stress control tube so that the insulation conducting the bit of air will sit directly. That will create a very good moisture. Center up the tube again, shrink into position. Now, this pot end is 12 kV and 17.5 kV and 24 kV and 36 kV. There will be additional red insulation buildup left. Shrink from the center to one end at a time until fully recovered and wrinkle free. Now take the copper screening bandage, tightly wind it over the complete pot end, starting at the insulation rod, with 50% overlap. Take it right up to the copper screen wires. Bend back the screen wires upon the core, apply more mesh so that there's really good contact between the two. Keep applying the mesh right over the pot end and secure. Now take the adhesive lined end cap, position it onto the insulating rod end. Now make a mark on the outer jacket. And a braid. 
this will ensure the outer shrink tube has a good adhesive key onto the cable jack. Use a tissue to clean and degrease. Now apply some grey mastic tape over the end of the end cap and when the outer tube sits on top it will create an additional seal. Now centre up the outer shrink tube and starting from the centre shrink to one end at a time. Keep the flame moving to ensure even shrinkage and the sealants are visible at both ends. The pot end is now complete and can be energised.